Take us through yesterday and your initial reaction to learning that you have a fractured bone in your wrist. Uh, caught me off guard for sure. Um, definitely not what I was expecting, um, especially the the handmate. You know, I, to this day I still pass the, the strength test. You know, it's something we had kind of written off as far as being a thing. Um, so yeah, it caught me off guard, surprised, and wasn't definitely wasn't expecting uh, to be told I had a fractured fractured bone. I know you said you were maybe getting a little more information today. Did you get more clarity on what exactly? Yeah, um, we were just trying to confirm um, surgery, and, and the, you know, we're trying to get it done as quickly as possible because that just speeds up the, the recovery process. Um, would have loved to be able to do it yesterday, uh, but you know, that's just not the nature of it. So we're um, still finalizing which which day, but it'll be early this week that we we get taken care of. Is it still kind of trying to figure out when it happened? Or yeah, I, I don't I don't know when it happened. Um, the the doctor uh, said it, it's I've been dealing with it for a while. Um, it finally just got to a point where the, the pain tolerance wasn't. I just couldn't do it anymore. Um, you know, it'd been like I said the other day. I'd had some general soreness for a while there. It kind of come and go. Um, but the fact, you know, the, the, the typical handmate is, you know, a guy takes one swing and you know, can't lose his strength in his hand. That's not really what happened to me. It's just something that, that over time gradually occurred. Is your understanding that, I mean, I know you can't tell for sure, but six weeks, is that return to play or return to kind of like full baseball? Yeah, that's, um, from what I've been told, six weeks is the average return time. Um, you know, obviously I'm shooting for, for quicker than that. You know, especially after a short spring training, uh, missed time with my back. Um, you know, I, I finally had gotten to a point where I felt like I was comfortable and things were starting to click. And um, yeah, it's just another setback, but it's something that um, I'll deal with and, and we'll get through. How long had it been bothering you? Several weeks. Um, you know, and, and honestly, for me, it's something that I would feel like maybe in the cage or during batting practice. But you know, once the game started, the adrenaline. Uh, you know, it was it was there, but it wasn't prohibiting. Um, when I first when I first said something, it was on Tuesday when I could feel it and I was catching, and that's when I said, you know, there's something that I need to voice. You know, it's, it's, if I can feel it while catching a baseball, there's something I need to you know say. I'm going to be borrowing Dom Smith's uh, left-hand catcher's glove, so I'll go squat and uh, you know turn the machine down a little bit slower, so I'm not used to catching with that side. But I'll, I'll be able to do pretty much everything except swing about with two hands. You can lift all, like you usually would. Yeah, that's. I mean, obviously post post op, there'll be a few days where I have to you know recover, but the plan is to stay in as close to baseball shape as possible.